Hi everyone, I am so excited to introduce you to today's book, Dave Ramsey's The Total Money Makeover. Before I found Dave, I had no knowledge of personal finance, none. And that never was really a problem per se until six months after college when my student loans started needing to be repaid. Yeah, I suddenly realized that um, I had no idea what I was supposed to do to build wealth. Not a clue. And I had, I had just graduated college. I refused loans my last semester that I actually probably could have used to live on. So it was great that I could refuse loans, but then things went on my credit card. So six months after college, I had a couple thousand on my credit card and all of a sudden was about to start paying back $25,000 of student loans. That feeling sucked. I, I felt like all of a sudden I was drowning because I wasn't, I was at my, I was working in my first job after college. I wasn't making that much. And all of a sudden I felt like every paycheck I was still in the negative. Like I didn't feel like I was moving ahead. I didn't feel like I was getting anywhere. And yet up until that moment, I'd just been doing what was normal. I, I had just been doing what everybody else did. So it made me think, were other people feeling that panicked? Was it just me? Had I missed something up? Had I, I missed something or, you know, and I just, it made me realize that I had no clue about personal finance. So I started listening to podcasts um, about personal finance. Like I really liked um, Bad With Money it was actually awesome. And I told a coworker that I was starting to learn this stuff. And he was like, you need to listen to Dave Ramsey. And I was like, yeah, okay. Recommendations, whatever. Like I'll find what's good for me. I'm kind of that person where like, I love when people make recommendations, but it has to be natural. Like I have to kind of find it on my own. Like I have to get introduced to them. Right. So the first like three times he said like you would love Dave Ramsey. I was like, yeah, okay. And then finally one day I was like, you know what, just to make you shut up, I'll check this guy out. Fine. So Dave Ramsey, actually I didn't start with reading the book. I started with his podcast because I could listen to that at work and Oh my gosh, <laughs> he is awesome. The reason I like Dave Ramsey so much is because he's not just like spouting theories. He's not just talking about what, you know, hypothetically, here's how the system works or, you, you know, he's like, I've been where you are and here's a detailed plan of how to build wealth. That totally appealed to me because I was like, don't just keep making me promises. Show me how to freaking do it. And Dave did. So after listening to his podcast for a long time and pretty much getting the gist of it, I still went ahead and bought his book and read it cover to cover. And it is so good. But so in this video, I still think you guys should get it. But I know that with coronavirus, Everything's kind of up in the air. My beloved Barnes and Nobles are closed. The stores are closed. And I don't know what your financial situation is like right now. So I'm not going to tell you to go, you know, necessarily buy a book or sign up for a program because you might not have the money to spare right now. And you might be asking me like, Mariah, why are you trying to introduce me to uh, like a, a, a new financial plan, a way of thinking? Because what like when right now you don't have a lot of money and you might be panicking. I want to introduce this to you now so that heaven forbid, whatever next disaster comes down the line, if there's another virus, if there's another God knows what that catches you off guard, you never have to feel like you're feeling right now ever again. That's what I'm working towards. And that's what Dave wants for you to have financial independence and financial security so that you can not only build wealth, but you won't have to live life with that stress of living paycheck to paycheck, that insanity 
of trying to like borrow and repay, borrow and repay and, and be like a slave to all of your payments. So I'm going to tell you in this video, the key baby steps, but also furthermore, like I said, I discovered Dave through his podcast, which is free. So his podcast is technically made from his radio show and he does three hours of his radio show every single day of the week. So Monday through Friday, um, that's three hours every day, Monday through Friday that you can consume this content for free. And it's fantastic because people call in with their specific details of what their situation is and he helps them through it. So maybe you'd hear a situation like yours. Okay. So let's launch into the steps that Dave Ramsey details out in this book of how to build wealth. Step one is build up an emergency fund of a thousand dollars. Now this is not meant to be your main emergency fund. This is just a baby cushion for if anything crazy happens while you're beginning the baby steps. So like that thousand dollars wouldn't be meant to protect you from coronavirus crazy. Okay. It's just like a baby cushion. And he does say, you know, that you, if, if you're making like less than 30,000 a year, like, you can have just like 500 as your emergency fund because it can take you a while to build that up. So when I first started this, I was like fresh out of college, basically not making much. I had an emergency fund of only $500. So maybe that's all you can do right now. If you can start right now, that'd be awesome. If not, like just absorbing this knowledge will help you so much. Okay, so that's baby step one. Baby step two is the one that takes people usually the longest because Baby step two is getting out of debt, like completely debt free, like no payments, get rid of it. Not your electricity and water and groceries. Like those are things that you build up as you go along, but things like no car payment, no student loans, credit cards, get rid of it. Dave Ramsey, mm -mm, no credit cards, get rid of all these debts because when you have debt, every time you get a paycheck, you immediately have to pay somebody else. You don't get to keep your money and you don't get to control it when you have a bunch of payments that you have to do. And that's where you get into trouble in times like this. Coronavirus hits, you suddenly lose your job, and now you realize that you, you financed your car, you financed your couch. You've got like crazy, I don't know what the details of your life are, but if you've got a whole stack of payments, look buddy, the plan only works as long as the plan works. All those payments only work if you're a steady job, if you can keep your job with the same salary that you were getting before. So that's where the freedom comes from. If you don't have debt, then you're not constantly having people like watching you and hounding you for their money. You don't owe them anything. So you have the freedom to make your decisions that are best for you. So most people talk about getting out of debt with the biggest, starting with the highest interest rates. Okay. And mathematically that's right. But Dave, is more focused on your success. And if people were like base their actions on mathematics, they wouldn't be in crazy amounts of debt anyway. So what Dave recommends is what he calls the debt snowball. You list all of your debts out, not including your house. Baby step two does not include your mortgage. So list all of your other debts out, student loans, medical debt, credit cards, cars, um, Furniture, if you have it, whatever else. I think it's crazy that you can like buy something like a pair of pants online. You can freaking finance it. That's just crazy to me, but you can do that. So list it all out from biggest to smallest and you work your way from the smallest, no matter what the interest rates are, because as you eliminate these debts, you'll feel a sense of accomplishment and accomplishment and pride and you will feel like you have achieved a goal. Usually like those super high interest rates have really big debts and it takes you a long time to pay them off. And then you don't end up finishing because it's just, it's, it's hard to live with a, like a limited lifestyle so that you're putting all money that you can at these debts. It's hard to do that if you don't feel like you're accomplishing anything. So that's why the debt snowball works. And so you have your small, uh, largest to smallest, 
once you've paid off that smallest, you take everything that you are paying towards that debt and put it to the next one. And that's where the snowball comes in because as you're making these payments, like let's say your baby payment is $50 a month, and then you start putting that towards your bigger payment that was $200 a month, well now you're paying $250 on top of whatever else you can push towards it, and then that just grows and grows and grows. So by the time you hit your big debts, you're paying thousands of dollars towards that debt a month because you have nothing else bogging you down. And that is that focus is how you'll succeed. So you are like, he likes to say you're living on rice and beans, beans and rice. We're talking bare minimums here, which is why I think coronavirus could actually be a great time to start for you. Because when you're on baby step two, you're not going out to dinner every night. You are not going on vacations. You are limiting your lifestyle for this goal, which will then allow you to live like nobody else once you're done. He likes to say, live like nobody else now so that later you can live and give like nobody else. And I just love that. Love that. Think about, it's hard sometimes to put your future goals into the present moment and make that be like worth it. But trust me, it would be worth it. Feel the pain of whatever financial stress you're feeling now, how awful that is. And know that there is a path to freedom. There is a path to freedom. You don't have to feel that pain anymore. So deal with this little pain of not going out to dinners, not going out to the movies or whatever, so you can put all that extra money towards your debts. Get out of debt. Yeah. Okay, so say you accomplished baby step two, it means you're on baby step three, which is save up three to six months of your expenses in a fully funded emergency fund. So you calculate all your bills, all your like grocery expenses, how much you pay for gas, if you've got kids, how much that costs, add that all up, calculate what it would be for three to six months, and you need to have that in like a savings account or like an easily accessible money market so that if an emergency hit, you can just pull that out. You've got that set aside so that you're safe. So that when like, what is that thing like that term? Um, Murphy's law or whatever. Like when Murphy hits you, you're like, that's okay. I'm fine. I don't need to panic. I've got six months of expenses saved up just sitting in there waiting for me to like use it if I need it. This is not used to buy a car. It is not used to buy your new grand piano. It is for emergencies, like coronavirus and losing your job. That would be an emergency. Other than that, no touchy. Then you have baby steps four, five, and six. Four, five, and six all kind of happen at the same time. Baby step four is increasing your retirement contributions all the way up to 15%, which is the recommended amount. Baby step five would be saving up for a kid's college, but I don't have kids, so I never think about that one. And then, um, you, and then baby step six is paying off your mortgage as early as possible. So you don't have to be quite as gazelle intense as baby step two. Um, but since you don't have any debts, you shouldn't have crazy monthly payments. You can put all that extra towards your mortgage. Cause then imagine if you were like 50 and you had a great retirement nest egg growing and your house was paid off, like imagine the freedom to do whatever hobbies you want, whatever vacations you want, like so little stress there because you know, after baby step two, no one can repo your car, but after baby step six, no one can foreclose on your home. Yeah. And then baby step seven is just building wealth and living and giving like nobody else. Seriously, like you can be so generous once you're that level of freedom, you know, you can just help other people and that really helps you feel good too. And, um, yeah, but especially like, so for me, that's like always on the, the way, um, I'm still in baby step two. I'm still in the process of getting out of debt. I only have my student loans left. Oh, student loans, stupid student loans, but it's fine. I pick, I took out less than the national average and I'm just paying it off. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted with that. But, um, so it's just like, it's a, I'm already in such a better place though. I'm not even through baby step two and my world is already so much better. Like I feel so much more accomplished than where I was when I started this. Like I feel so much more in control of my finances and you don't realize how much finances touch every part of your life, but they do 
everything, your relationships, your stability, your home, your, your items, your sometimes quality of life, like it touches everything. So I feel so much better where I am now. But so, like I said, that's, I know that you might be thinking, Mariah, I can't do that right now because my finances are crazy. Um, I hear you. I hear you, but this is why it's so important to like take this time, get this book or read this book, listen to this video, um, listen to his podcast. If you still have a job right now, listen to it while you're going to work. If you don't have a job, listen to it while you're doing the dishes. You will learn so, so much, but I'm also here for you too. So post down in the comments, whatever's coming up for you. If you are feeling resistance and like, Mariah, I can't do that. You don't know my situation. Post what's going on for you in the comments and we'll see if we can help you through it. Post that and what your goals are. Where are you trying to get to? Like for me, I'm still trying to get to the financial freedom and then I have so many goals once I get there. Um, so what are your immediate goals? So what are you dealing with right now? And then what are your goals? And trust me, there is a way for everybody. It works, it freaking works. You don't have to do this alone. And it is possible. So keep faith. Feel confident that there is a path you can take. No matter what your situation is right now, there is a path you can take. You can build wealth. You can have financial independence and freedom. And it can start today. So thanks for watching this video. Comment down below. Can't wait to hear from you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.